Hey guys, how's it going? It is Drown Boy Cosplay, and today I'll be bringing you guys a review on the Trick or Treat Studios Pretty Woman Leatherface Mask. I'm a fan of the Texas Chainsaw franchise, but not so much of uh, the more serious films. I think my favorite in the series is definitely Part 2. I think it has a lot more character, and I just really overall love the horror comedy aspect of it. But the original is obviously a classic, and out of all of the masks that Leatherface has had, uh, for several, several films. My favorite is The Pretty Woman. Just something about the color of the blue and the red along with the pale face and that crazy hair to me has always seemed like it was the scariest mask and had the most character for sure. It wasn't really trying too hard. So overall it is my favorite and this comes from Trick or Treat Studios. You guys can pick these up for $60 at their website. And I believe currently they are having a Black Friday sale, so you might want to hop on that fast. Now this hair has already been teased up a little bit and made to look a little bit more messy like it is from the film. But normally it comes pretty straight, and that's not really a great thing. Another thing I wish they would have done, of course, is the actual stitching along the face in some areas. Whereas it is just sculpted here, it could have been stitched, which of course if you're a stickler, you could always go back, cut it, punch the holes, and stitch it yourself. That's the great thing about these. These are great for conversions, just like Myers masks, just fantastic for conversions. This version, of course, comes with the eyebrow. The hair is punched in plugs, just like the Papa. I will say that they did a lot smaller punchings on this, so it looks more filled in and not really as separated as it is for the Papas. So this definitely overall has a better look just stock. This also does come with a couple of leather tassels which of course go from the front to the back of the mask to help you tighten it so it will fit you perfectly along the side of your face and the mask is basically open like so. So it's two separate pieces so this really should fit anyone. Now as to whether or not it is fat head friendly I haven't tried it on but I would hope so since of course it is Leatherface and he's a larger guy like I am. This mask was also sculpted by Connor Gilles, who of course did the Papa 3's, a master artist, and if you were going to get an actual copy of Connor's TCM masks, it could run you upwards of several hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. Those things are really, really sought after amongst collectors. So getting this from Tots and converting it yourself is really the best way to get a fantastic sculpt. And as anyone would say, you know, if you can get a good sculpt for $60, there's no need in complaining. But I will go ahead and try it on for you guys and just give you guys a look of how that looks. So my overall review of the mask is that it's a very, very nice piece. I think the paint job is a little bit subpar, but you could easily fix it up. It is a very simple and plain paint job. So that's not really that difficult of a thing to fix. Uh, there's a few other adjustments that could be made, but I think for $60, this is an absolute must have, especially if you're a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan. You really can't beat this for $60. I mean, you've got a fully haired mask, a really, really nice sculpt, a pretty decent paint job, and of course, with the leather tassels, it will fit anyone. So I strongly, strongly recommend to pick one of these up if you guys are interested. I know I'll be picking one up in the future, and see you next time.